Hello there, this is part 9 of our tutorial. Let's make this outer ring and I think that should complete our tutorial. Uh, maybe we'll just remain with these connection, this connection, the connection around here. So for this uh, we need something with, a, I don't know, 4? Fit curve. We don't want this to fit curve. We want it to fit the sixth count of something like five, and then this should go for the length of this entire ring. I'll keep it here and then mirror this on the other side. But uh, I want to see how we can control this to follow this. So if we use a curve, ah, that won't work, but uh, let's try binding this again and see if that would help. So I think we can use only loops here, like that. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, select this, select this, then add a, <coughs> a surface deform. Select this surface and bind. Now we can go to the display and uh, change the display as to wire. Now let's see if I select this. It does what I wanted it to do, but uh, it's squished too much. It's squishing it too much. Let's see. Select this, bind it, control P. You know what, instead of using that, let's try something different and see. Let me remove this and uh, remove the bind. If I apply uh, the first array and rotate this, which direction should this be? Yeah, I think something like that. And then reduce the array distance. We already have a curve here. So let me first hide this part then add and shift S cursor to selected selection to cursor and add uh, the same curve as uh, the control curve need to be maybe scaled down a bit as well now they don't have to be scaled down it need to be rotated in the opposite angle and uh, they should be a bit tighter So up to around here, <coughs> and then, and because the center of this is here, we can just use a mirror modifier. <coughs> okay, so we rotated this object, I think. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to use Alt D to duplicate an instance, and then move that. Of that on the opposite side and mirror this on the y direction on y axis just need to position them correctly like that It 
everything. You can do the same out D. Get this again, uh, this in the X, mm. or this in the Y direction, and then mirror this in the Y. So let's see. Let's hide everything else that is not supposed to be rendered. Go to material mode. Uh, also make sure that uh, this using, uses the same material. Yeah, that, that is our necklace. Just need to play around with the light and give it a nice uh, lighting, lighting effect. So let's see how we can get that to work. Okay, OBS is a bit lagging uh, because I have added a lot of light. So let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try changing the uh, background light HDR image and see. Bam. Yeah. Das. Let me add a camera here. Add bloom. I need not that much. Select the camera. Depth of field. Select mm, that as our depth of field. I reduce the aperture 
uh, the focus, the f stop to 0.1. Let's go to the color mine event and then SRA change uh, hmm? the loop to let's try high contrast. Very high contrast. Make this a bit darker. Less refractive, reflective, more refraction. Uh, less specularity. Let's reduce the f stops to about one, so that a lot of it is in in frame or in focus. I don't think this is too bad. I think this is nice. This is nice. You barely can't see anything in OBS. It's very lucky. But uh, that's how you make uh, this. Uh, I don't even remember what it was. HMOG Ethnic Minority Pure Silver something necklace. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, thank you, I can't remember how to pronounce your name, I'm uh, sorry, but uh, yeah, uh, if you want to request another tutorial, anyone who wants to request another tutorial, you can uh, become a patron and uh, I'll see you what I can do. Thank you for the support, thank you for watching, see you in uh, the next video.